Okay, so this one was leaking on the top. Let's see, it's about 19, 2005, February 2005. It's definitely got some use out of it. The heater works fine, but leaks out of the top. What I'm going to try and do is take this top off and see if I can see exactly where it's leaking. Okay, so I took the top off. It's got the foamy stuff on it. And if we look here, I sprayed it, actually sprayed it off with water, so it's a little tricky to tell. Uh, I guess the best way to tell would be to, uh, well, it definitely looks really rusty around here, so I'm thinking it's going to be around this edge, this main heater tube vent thing. I don't, it doesn't really look like it's rusty around this one. This one here is a little bit more rustier. This one looks okay. Looks most rusty around this, the vent. That's probably the most likely place where it would give out because the heating and cooling of this vent. So, yes, yeah, so this one, this one here on our left is the cold. And so that's the inlet the outlet and I don't see any, I don't see any distinct cracks in it it's just that it looks really rusty in here Let's see if I can get a screwdriver on that and see if it'll crack up a little bit probably could be welded way to test it would be to I would think we could heat this up a little bit with a torch put some water in it turn it upside down see what it does this one here looks a little corroded it looks really yeah it looks like possibly could leak leak from that too that thing is shot I can tell I can the way that sounds I can tell that it's like the corrosion resistant bar or whatever the zinc bar that gets in there and prevents the other pipes from corroding this corrodes first that thing doesn't doesn't sound like it's in there so nothing I can point out exactly but uh definitely looks suspect up in here this rust here pretty bad yeah right where that thing connects probably is where it went bad it would probably work fine if it wasn't under pressure so for instance if you want to heat like 30 gallons of water and shut the pressure off it would probably work fine okay so I decided I'm gonna just dump this one but before I dump it I'm gonna take out the brain this brain here basically we disconnect it here disconnect here pull this out this is all good stuff here so I'm gonna save that doesn't really look like it was leaking from the bottom and so in order to get this out basically what I have to do is I have to stick a half inch pipe in to get some leverage 
because that's I might be able to grab it with a wrench here but you can't grab it very much and there's some wires in there you got to be careful with what I usually do is stick a half inch pipe in a couple feet long and you got a good uh, got some good leverage if you stick a pipe in there about that long you'll be able to unscrew it it's lefty loosey righty tighty same thing with this one I'm going to try and salvage this Anyway, that's your water heater tip for today. Thanks for watching.